Oh man. Okay. So this is going to potentially be the area that takes the longest and makes me die the most. Um, I think I'm gonna... Oh, I don't know actually. Let's just go in. Let's see what happens. Well, I will say that this is not the room that I thought it was going to be, so that's an upside, I guess. Or at least not the enemy in here that I thought was going to be in here. Doing good. We're just going to basically finish up the main game here. Still have some after game stuff to do, but hopefully can finish the main game in this stream. I don't know why, but that behemoth was a lot easier than the other ones we fought earlier. It's kind of weird. Is this actually the room that I'm thinking it is? Is that just the first fight? That is just the first fight. Oh no. Oh uh, yeah, okay. This fight's not that bad. This the second part here. It's just a lot of dark balls, which are potentially deadly, but most likely not. They don't have a lot of health, so we should be fine. Oh, right, there's more to this phase than I thought there was. And this is where we start to get problems. This is where I start to fight for my existence. <laughs> this is a little bit insane. Just strike raid. Just do it. <laughs> I need. I need to get a couple of these guys down. Kill this one. Okay, there we go. Like, what do we? It's just like fight for survival in this room. And we're not even at the bad part yet. Oh my, that's not even the end still. We're not even in the third part yet. And this is just as deadly as the wave right before it. I do have second chance right now, so I'm just kind of holding on here and waiting. Okay, there we go. Alright, on the bright side, we're almost through the second phase. Oh, wait. Oh, we already did the second phase. I'm realizing in the background there that we're actually good. One of the heart pieces broke. I didn't... I thought there was a cutscene in between each of them, but... Maybe this isn't as bad as I remember it being. I, I always used to die here, like, a lot. <laughs> Oh, 
Heartless. These are like the strongest Heartless of the game, all packed into one tight room. Oh, we're not done yet. Some Dark Balls. Oh, and Invisibles have shown up too, again. Maybe I am remembering correctly and this wave is just very long. I'm gonna try to get rid of some again with Strike Parade here. Since it gives us some high frames. Okay, so we have successfully cleansed the room with some of the Heartless. I need to heal, like, right now. <laughs> uh, I can get away with getting hit again. Oh, well, not anymore. I didn't think I could defend against that, but I haven't tried, so figured I might as well. Ugh. Of course he did that again. Let's get this guy, okay. Now I don't actually remember if this is the last wave or if there's still a number one of Heartless. I guess we're gonna see. There's still more. <laughs> oh man. I. Judging by the fact that the Dark Balls are here too, I actually, if I remember correctly, I don't think that this is the last wave either. So that's not great. I swear, wasn't there two in the room and now and then I saw there was three again and I just killed one and there's another is free again. Are they just are they just reappearing? Come on, man. Oh, and here's the invisibles again. Yeah, I was right. That isn't the final wave. Have to fight more of these guys. Thankfully, you know what? I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> That was a really bad strike raid. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, we got two. This isn't good. Hey guys, so at this point in the video it gets a little bit interesting. Uh, basically I was dying over and over again for I think about an hour in this room, so what you're watching in the background is just a deftage of me dying over and over again <laughs> um, as the death counter slowly adds up. Um, and yeah, I was in here forever trying to do this, but it turns out I just don't do enough damage um, and I take so much damage if I get hit at all that it was very hard for me to actually get through this. So I actually end up, after dying over and over again for quite a while here, um, I actually end up deciding to just leave. Um, basically just leave, not this area, but kind of go back a little bit, let's say. Um, I actually go back and kill Chernabog and do all the stuff. Basically everything I did in the last episode previous to this one, I basically go back and do that all over again. And then... 
Um, I come back, but the only difference that I have at that point in time is I have elixirs equipped. And that is specifically just so that if I do get to these points, as you can see, a lot of the times I'm dying because I'm out of mana. Um, if I do get to these points where I get super late into the fight, I can simply, you know, just um, use an elixir and then we're back to full again. So that's what my strategy ends up being. With some invisibles along the way. I'm gonna strike right here. Throwing an elixir. Okay, and we're fine. for two strike raids. Stun this one, so we should be fine. Let's do another one. Okay, there goes two of them. right there, that's really good. Okay, are we good? Are these the last two enemies? These might be the last two enemies. It's still going. <laughs> Please let this be the last wave, like come on. This is actually insane. Come on! 
Okay, nothing has respawned. This is the only thing in here. I think we finally did it. Oh my god. <laughs> That's like perfect. Yeah, I hate how ridiculous they've made that room. Heal. Okay, so let's put on... I guess we'll put on high potions. Yes, this the save point is 100% needed. Thank you. 